Hey, it's Rory with SurgeonChow.com and uh, I hope all of you are doing well. Today is a brand new day and we have a brand new smartphone to check out. It is an affordable device, which is always quite interesting. Um, and also it is a Realme smartphone. So it is the brand new Realme 6i. And if you're familiar with the Realme 6i, you'll know that it's in sort of like their entry level, really, really affordable mid-range uh, department. Uh, and it usually packs quite a wallop. So I'm quite interested to see what this smartphone brings. So let's get started. And I think let's just start with the first thing that you'll notice when you pick up the Realme 6i and that is the new sort of design and uh, build that Realme has gone for. So previously, the Realme 5i did not look like this. Um, this new one is like clearly they're taking it in a slightly different direction um, with this whole sort of frosted white back that's a bit matte. Now, I like the matte texture. I think that's good for uh, hiding fingerprints um, so it doesn't really get like really smudged up. It's also a lot easier to shoot because it's not super reflective um, but this design is apparently inspired by Naoto Fukasawa I don't know who that is but uh, the, the, the resulting design is that you get these uh, sort of like this frosted finish obviously and then these sort of really slim thin lines that's running down the length of the smartphone I don't hate the way it looks I think it's okay um, but the thing that really threw me off is the way this device is built so clearly like everything is plastic, the frame, the back, they're all plastic. Um, but the weird thing is when I'm holding this, I can feel the back of the phone sort of creak and move about. It's almost like, you know, phones with removable backs like from ye old times. <laughs> yeah, it almost feels like that. It, there's, there isn't like a rigidity or like a, 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 a feeling that everything has been like put together really well. It just sort of like creaks and moves about. I don't know if the mic can pick that up. No, the mic, I don't think the mic's gonna pick that up, but it's going to sort of like, it, it, it feels loose and that's a really weird feeling to have. Um, the buttons also don't feel really great. Uh, they feel like cheap buttons. They don't have the same tactility. Uh, they don't have the same kind of bump. Uh, so that's a little bit disappointing, but I mean, as far as ergonomics go, it is nicely curved, so it still fits nicely in the hand. And I think in terms of like shape and size, it is exactly the same as the Realme 5i, at least from what I can tell. So you might even be able to like reuse your old cases if you're upgrading from the Realme 5i. But the thing about Realme and their affordable smartphones is you're not buying them because you're expecting like a super high-end premium build, you know. You're buying them for one thing and one thing alone and that is specs. And as far as specs are concerned, this smartphone is actually pretty interesting. So uh, up front, you're getting a 6.5 inch HD plus display. So that I believe is the same screen as you'd find on the Realme 5i. Um, there is like a little dew drop notch at the top here. So it's not a punch hole. Um, uh, unfortunately, there is no 90 hertz refresh rate unlike the its more powerful brother the realme 6 so that is a little bit disappointing but then again this is going to be a lot more affordable smartphone so i guess that isn't that surprising inside you'll find that this smartphone is powered by a mediatek helio g80 octa-core processor now i'll admit that i don't really know that much about this processor uh, i haven't had a lot of experience with it but using it i mean i think it's an okay processor for like an affordable device it's relatively smooth uh using experience like browsing stuff is all okay uh, when I tried gaming on it uh, I got a kind of mixed results so um, I ran Asphalt 9 on this it it was a bit choppy at high settings so um, but it's definitely playable uh, but if you move it down to like the default settings then it's a lot smoother um, my colleague Anip from Search Show BM tells me that COD Mobile uh, will run on like medium settings uh, pretty well with high FPS and PUBG Mobile can run actually on high settings so I guess for the most part it's okay for an affordable gaming smartphone. Um, that said, Anip does note that um, the touch polling rate doesn't feel very responsive. So like everything feels a little bit like not so uh, immediate. And also uh, the gyroscope doesn't work on COD mobile. So if you're someone who uses the gyroscope, then maybe this is not the smartphone for you. For me though, the thing that I was most disappointed with was the single down firing speaker. So it sounds really tinny, it doesn't get very loud, which is like, which means it's sort of like below average even for like an affordable smartphone. So that's a bit disappointing, but there is a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. So you can plug in like wired headphones or whatever it is that you want to plug in to sort of amp up that audio experience. I could have just 
done this in the office, but I thought like, you know, might as well show off some of the awesome places in Malaysia, right? As far as memory configuration is concerned, um, the device that I have here actually has 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, um, which I think is a really nice sort of setup for affordable smartphones. I think 128 is usually like more than enough for the lifetime of a smartphone. But if you do want uh, more storage, you can actually expand it. It has a dedicated micro SD card alongside two nano SIM slots so you can have like a three card setup and you will be good. However, I don't know if uh, this is the exact configuration that's going to come into Malaysia. Uh, as a point of reference, the Realme 5i that came into Malaysia last year only had 64 gigs of storage, which I still think is okay. Um, but at this point, like I don't know how much storage the Realme 6i will have when it launches in Malaysia. What I do know is that Realme has kept one of the key highlight features of the Realme 5i and that is its massive battery. So on the Realme 6i, you're still getting a 5,000 mAh battery, which is really nice. Paired with the HD Plus screen, you should be expecting pretty good battery life out of this smartphone. And one nice upgrade that I like is that they included a USB-C port now, so it's no longer micro USB. Plus this supports 18W um, fast charging and it looks like a pretty standard 9v2a fast charging standard so it's not it doesn't look like it's some proprietary charging technology which means it should work with most sort of standard fast charging um, bricks probably the biggest upgrade at least on paper is the camera system so the realme 5i yes that had a quad camera system and this has a quad camera system too but now the main camera is a 48 megapixel sensor with an f 1.8 aperture lens so the sensor i believe is the imax 586 i mean which is like a pretty common 48 megapixel camera at this point and it's also capable of 4 in 1 pixel bidding. Next to that, you have an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, as well as a 2 megapixel depth camera, which I believe makes this system the same one that you'll find on uh, the Realme 5 Pro, which I mean, it's, it's definitely an upgrade. I wasn't particularly impressed with the macro camera, um, but you know, I'll leave a whole bunch of shots from all these different uh, modes um, right now, so you should be able to judge for yourself. Up front, you're also getting an upgrade in the selfie camera department because now you're getting a 16 megapixel selfie shooter with an f2.0 aperture lens. And uh, obviously it comes with a whole bunch of beautification features. But the thing that I like is that you can turn all of that off by just tapping on the natural button and then it will just like, it will give you straight out of camera results. For biometric security, you're getting a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner, which I still prefer over the side-mounted ones. And uh, this smartphone also supports face unlock, which I guess you can use if you prefer that. One thing that I was pretty disappointed to find out was that the fact that this smartphone doesn't support 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uh, it only supports 2.4 gigahertz. So if, got, if you've got like a dual band router, then you can only use the 2.4 gigahertz one. I mean, come on, it's 2020. Is it really that difficult to put 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi support on this smartphone? I don't know man so yeah, that pretty much wraps up my initial thoughts for the Realme 6i. Um, as a successor to the Realme 5i, I think they've done an okay job. Like it's an expected upgrade, I would say. Um, right now, the crucial thing is the price point. So at the time that I'm filming this video, the smartphone has not launched yet. Um, not in Malaysia anyway. We don't have the details for the pricing just yet. So I don't know how much it's going to cost. But uh, based on like previous launches, so the Realme 5i launched at about 599 ringgit. But since this is like more powerful and there's like a better camera and stuff it could be more expensive um, but it's safe to say that it will definitely be priced below the Realme 6 because if it is priced above the Realme 6 then there's something wrong with the pricing structure already. That being said, by the time you are watching this video, we will probably have all the pricing information already so that will appear right here. Now, depending on the price, you know, there's one of two reactions. You can go like, oh, it's so good or like, oh, or it's just like, eh. So I don't know which one it is right now because I don't know um, the details right now, but the future me will know and we will have a post up with all the details that you could want to know about the Realme 6i in Malaysia on our website, searchinchow.com. So make sure you head there for all the deets.
But for now, you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think of the Realme 6i? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you have any thoughts, like, is, is there a smartphone that's better than this at its price point? You know, let me know that in the comments below too. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed whenever we post a brand new video. Um, you can also like us on Facebook if you want. But our home will always be at soyachinchow.com. Uh, I'm Rory. Stay safe, everybody. Hang in there. This too will pass. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.